Hello again. Smart room technology. The reason we don't call them smart rooms anymore, rather tech enhanced rooms, is that there's actually three different types of smart room technology. And you may actually not have smart room technology in a room with a projector, with a DVD, VCR player, screen ca um, document camera, what have you. Smart room technology contains essentially here at this point three different types of tools. There is the um, actual smart board, which we do not have. We have a whiteboard here. This is not a smart board. We have instead a symposium, or symposium, excuse me, symposium, right here. That's a symposium. This is an actual smart board. Note it looks just like a whiteboard when it's not turned on. Later we'll show you how it works when it's turned on. They use special pen markers. These don't have ink. They're electronic. When it's turned on, up, they, will, they will work. There's also a special electronic eraser. Do not, under any circumstances, use a regular whiteboard marker. No, don't. Only the markers in the tray under the smart board. This is an airliner. Uses the same kind of software. Actually, the same, exact same software. It also has a stylus. And on the left, it's got a little piece of paper under here. It's, this acts like a screen. You don't actually see the, what's on the computer, but if you have a projector projecting what's on the computer onto the screen, you can stand anywhere in the room, draw on this, and it will appear on the screen. We'll play with this later. Key thing I want to make clear in this today right now, this is called an airliner. This. We've talked about how all the smart technology are screen capture devices. There are subtle differences in attitude. The airliner puts technology in the hands of the user. It can be passed around. It can be used as a remote mouse or screen capture device. Um, user interface, I don't know. Can we say that? The smart board, the big one, it's large. You have to turn your back on the audience. Um, I think more in terms of you have to trust them rather than you have to reject them. It invites the class to participate vicariously. They can see you work through a problem. Um, they can also come to the board and use the technology. The symposium, imagine a conference where you stand at a, sympos a symposium. The communication is one way, you would never turn your back on the audience. You can't move around much, you're kind of tied to the podium. Um, and the instructor has the sole pro access to the technology. The airliner is a small, ultra lightweight, doesn't weigh anything, easily passed around, smart board, large, stuck to the wall like a whiteboard, um, displays anything that you could project onto a computer monitor. The symposium, it looks like a flat panel uh, monitor like TV screen, displays anything you could on a computer or monitor. The airliner doesn't really display anything. And a couple of notes and words of warning. Airliners can be used with a symposium or a smart board. Not necessarily entirely different. Gets more confusing. Also, and the, all these this equipment is electronic. With the whiteboard or the smart board in particular, it looks like a whiteboard, but don't use regular whiteboard markers on them. They're electronic. The airliners, by the way, be careful. They can easily be lost in quotation marks. Um, but they won't work for anybody unless you have the software downloaded, Bluetooth gadgets, and some, some, some considerable tweaking.